voy a tratar de motivar. I will try to motivate and explain the reasons why I decided to work in this course. First, I have to say that I, I have studied algebra by standard methods, that is, with traditional methods. I was very fortunate to have a very good professor at the Madrid School of Industrial Engineers, Professor Diaz Hernando, who had a very interesting skill, which was to explain things, so that I was discovering in advance what he was going to say next. I think you cannot do a better thing than that, for the student to enjoy and discover by himself, the main concepts. Then, I studied mathematics at the Complutense University of Madrid, and I also had the opportunity to study quite a bit of algebra, even I was teaching for a few years subjects of algebra. But, suddenly, a civil engineer appeared, named Francisco Jubit who studied and spent much time working in the operations research field, and for that reason, also in algebra. So, he brought me a book. It was a book written in two colors, whose price, at that time, was two million pesetas, paid by Jubit from his own pocket. He brought me their new methods, which he wanted me to analyze and give him my opinion. The truth is that the book was a book that seemed written in Chinese, at the beginning I could not understand a single word, and I had to make a huge effort to read it, but slowly, I realized that the book perceived a special aroma. I began to discover something amazing, its novelty, and then, I decided to collaborate with him and work together for many years. This course is the result of the joint work of those years and of my subsequent experience working longer, but especially after more than 20 years teaching at the School of Civil Engineering of the Castillo-La Mancha University. I think it is a very valuable course. First, because it gives a completely different view from the traditional one, because it brings new concepts, and shows the concepts from a different point of view. It gives more powerful and different algorithms, much more interesting. In addition, I have received from my students support, and checked the surprise experienced by them, when I have taught the course. In fact, some have asked me, why they had not taught algebra in this way. In this course, what I will do is to teach an algorithm, only one algorithm, which is explained in only five minutes, and that is able to solve all problems appearing in algebra. The problems we are going to solve will be solved with a single algorithm. This is the great advantage and the wonder of the algorithm presented. The following problems are solved. First, how to get the subspace orthogonal to a given subspace and its supplement, which has a huge interest. Second, we will calculate the inverse of a matrix. Some of you could say that the inverse of a matrix is easily calculated, and that everybody already knows how to calculate it. But nevertheless, we will see that the way we use it is completely original. Then, we will see how to update the inverse when a row is changed. This has much interest, if after inverting a matrix, that is, calculating its inverse, of size thousand per thousand, we have used a wrong row, one, two or three, we do not have to repeat the calculations, we simply continue with one, two, or three iterations more, and get the new inverse. We will do the same with determinants. We will provide a formula for the determinant. You know that it's complicated, but it will be done in an original and very different way. In addition, we will see how to update the determinant when a row of the matrix is changed. We will also see how to calculate the rank of a matrix. You are used to calculate the rank, perhaps evaluating minors, looking for non-null determinants, which is a very cumbersome way, or, perhaps using the elimination method. We will explain a method with important advantages over alternative methods. We will also see how to know if a vector belongs to a linear space. We will use a very interesting method and we will let you see that problem from a perspective completely different. 
we will allows obtain the intersection of two subspaces and, we will again do it in a from different from the traditional one. Finally, we will discuss the problem of systems of equations. We will see homogeneous systems, complete systems, and analyze the compatibility problem. We will see that not only we solve specific systems, but we will solve all possible subsystems at once. Therefore, I invite you to walk through this world of algebra, from a new perspective. I invite you to put a new glasses, the orthogonality glasses, with which you are going to see these problems in a, a completely different form, a richer one, and will allow you to do many more things.